What is up, everybody? So this is my series on six ratio questions. You absolutely got to get down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Share this with people who need it. And definitely leave a comment if you have any questions. Let's get into it. I used to find problems like this so difficult. Like I hated trying to figure out how to do them. And I'm gonna show you how to make them so much easier. This one says, a ball is dropped from a height of 512 inches onto a level floor. After the third bounce, it is still 216 inches off the ground. Presuming that the height the ball bounces is always the same fraction of the height reached on the previous bounce, what is that fraction? Okay, so here's the thing. This can seem extremely complicated. And I know for myself, I used to get lost on questions like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go step by step with it. And I'm actually really excited to share this with you because it makes it so much easier. Here's the deal. We started with 512 inches. So it was 512 inches off the ground. So that's where we started. Then what do we know happens? It bounces and each time, what does it say? Presuming that the height the ball bounces is always the same fraction of the height reached on the previous bounce. So what's happening? Every time it bounces, it's being multiplied by the same fraction. And then after three bounces, what happens? We end up with 216. Let's just take that step by step. We know that we have 512 times a fraction, and then we're gonna do it again and again, and our end result needs to be 216. So the first step is we have 512. So we start with 512, and remember, we're multiplying that 512 by a fraction. So let's just say that fraction is x. So that's gonna be what happens after the first bounce. The first bounce gives us 512x. Now, what's gonna happen? We're gonna have to multiply by that same fraction again, because it says it's the same fraction every time. So originally we had 512x, let's put that in parentheses. What are we gonna do? We're gonna multiply that by x. So here we would have 512 times x times x, and that would be our second bounce, 512x squared. Now what's gonna happen? We could put that in parentheses, and again, it's gonna be the same fraction, so what are we gonna have? 512x squared times x. So it would be 512 times x squared times x, which is what? 512x cubed. That's where we are after our third bounce. Now what do we know? After our third bounce, where did we end up? What was the height? It tells us that the height was what? Still 216 inches off the ground. So what do we do? It's 512x cubed equals 216. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna solve for x. So let's divide both sides by 512. And what do we have? x cubed on the left. On the right, we have 216 over 512. So we're gonna take that 216 over 512 and we're gonna reduce it. And when you're reducing, just start with the numbers that are easiest to work with. So here what you can do is let's divide by two. So on the top, what would that give us? 108. On the bottom, we'd have 512 divided by two, which is 256. Now we need to divide the top and the bottom again. And in this case, actually, you can divide the top and the bottom both by four. 108 divided by four is 27. 256 divided by four is 64. So now we have x cubed equals 27 over 64. What do we need to do now? We need to take the cube root of both sides. So if we take the cube root of both sides, what's gonna happen? On the left, the cube root of x squared just leaves us with x. On the right, we have the cube root of 27 over 64, which can be what? It can be broken down into the cube root of 27 over the cube root of 64. And what does cube root mean? It means the number times itself times itself that gives you what you have inside. So what number times itself times itself gives you 27? Three, three times three times three is 27. And on the bottom, what would we need? Four times four times four. So what's our end result? Three on the top, four on the bottom. So we have X equals three fourths, which is answer choice E. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. There <laughs> we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.